In one last addition to this dress, um, I've had a couple of people ask me how I make that sort of tooled look. It sort of looks like tool sticking out. Um, we'll go ahead and add it, I guess, to the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to add a new layer, and I'll just call it tool. But you want to put it underneath your dress base because this is going to look like it's coming out from behind your dress. And you want a brush size of about a six. And you're just going to come down and sort of create these lines that are, you want them to sort of go along with the shape of your dress. Um, usually when I do this, I, I use darker colors. I don't know how it's going to look with a lighter color, but you'll at least see how I do it. And then you can just play around with it yourself to do it however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some to the top of her dress, too. We'll just see how it looks. And I always like to take it back down to a 1 so I can see how it's going to look while I change the different settings. Um, for this, I'm going to use Distort and Crystallize. And you can see that it makes it all kinds of funky. But um, if you take the cell size down, you can watch, and now it starts to look more like something sort of sticking out. I usually use like a 3 or a 2, um, maybe even a 4 would look okay depending on what you're making, but for my purposes I think I'm going to use the 2 and then I change the quality all the way up to 5, and OK. And then I usually add a little bit of noise to it again, making it kind of glittery just for sort of a texture thing, but I make it a lower intensity. And there you go. That's it. From here you could add shoes or purses, jewelry, draw her makeup, add some hair, whatever you want to do. But these are the basics of how I make a dress or any edit in paint.net. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching.